In the last few videos, we've discussed the concepts of how we can form a digital home by using M control to talk through adapters over a network using a protocol to a smart device and thereby allowing us to control, monitor, and automate that device. Today we're going to go through a practical example of how to connect this all together. We're going to start off first by connecting a Instian USB adapter. We'll then migrate and to installing a Instian dimmer switch. Then we'll bring it back all together in M control and control that device. So let's get started by first installing our Instian USB adapter. This is an Instian USB adapter. This is the device we will use to connect M control to the Instian network. At one end, is a USB plug that will connect into the M control PC. At the other end is a connection into our wall socket. It is through our electrical wiring that Instian will carry the messages to the smart devices. This model is a 2413U and U stands for USB. And uh, before we can use it we need to set it up so let's go do that now. I've plugged the Instian USB adapter into the wall uh, where it's going to form the Instian network and also I've plugged the USB port into the M control PC. Before we can go further we need to get some information about how we can connect to this adapter. To do that we're going to go to the control panel, system settings, access the device manager and in the device manager we'll see that when I plug this in a driver automatically created a serial port COM15 this is the actual serial port connection we will use to talk to the Instian USB adapter from M control. Okay, so now let's go set that up and once we do, we'll have a connection to the Instian network. When you're making changes to adapters and how they operate with M control, we use the administration utility provided with M control. You start that up in your browser and you're provided with a list of all the various adapters that are available. We're going to select the Instian X10 adapter and specifically the Instian control adapter. We're going to edit it and what we're going to do is we're going to say we're using a serial connection and I know this is a bit confusing even though it's a USB port but the way the driver works on your PC it actually sets up a serial port and as we saw uh, in using our device manager it was a serial port and it was COM15 so we made those changes and we'll say OK next thing we have to do is we have to save those changes at the bottom there's a button here I'm going to press it and you'll see this star disappear indicating that it's been saved so let's press save it's been saved but we have to get M control to recognize those changes so we're going to have to restart M control once that uh, once M control has been restarted your Instian adapter is up and running and you're ready to use the Instian network we've completed the first step of installing our Instian USB adapter now let's move on to the next step of installing our smart switch. This is an Instian dimmer switch. Let's go do that now. So this is a regular wall switch. It's dumb. The only way we control it is using our finger. So what we want to do in the process of turning our house into a digital home is install a smart switch, something like this Instian uh, dimmer switch that uh, we've purchased. Uh, online and uh, we're going to turn off the power, install the switch and get ready to control it. Here is the installed Instian switch. To do this we had turned off the main power, used the instruction manual to make the proper connections, fully installed the switch. Once we were happy we turned the power back on and were able to verify that the switch was operating properly. But before we put the cover back on, what we want to do is take note of the Instian address here at the bottom left, 0D01EB. This is the unique address 
that we provide to M Control so that M Control knows about this switch. And uh, let's go do that now. We're in the final stages of our mini project. We've installed and configured our Instian USB adapter. We've physically installed our Instian smart dimmer switch. Now we're ready to add that dimmer switch into M Control and control it. So let's start up the M Control editor. As you'll see, I've got an existing database with several zones. I'm going to select to enter this new device into the main area zone. I'm going to right click in an open area and select new device and shortcut which will add the device into our database of devices. So I'm going to call this a dimmer. I'm going to use my Instian CTR controller or Instian adapter. I can also specify the type of dimmer switch, uh, type of device it is. It's a dimmer switch. I can select a different uh, uh, icon for it. Here's an important step. I'm going to enter the Instian address, the unique address for that device. We took a note of it in our previous uh, section. And I add that device. As you'll note, it went, uh, M Control went out, interrogated the Instian network, found the device, and found that it's currently at 35%. Let's see if we can control it. So I'm going to turn it on, full on. And as you'll note, it's turned on fully at 100%. I'm going to turn that off, and it's off. Okay, so now just let's summarize before we close off the video. What we've shown here is we've added an Instian USB adapter that opened up access to the Instian network. We installed an Instian smart device, and then what we did is we added it to M Control. So this concept. Uh, is not just for Instian devices. This bears out for all of the different kinds of adapters and different devices, but this is a practical example of uh, one type of device and one type of protocol. In subsequent videos, we'll explore some of the other things we can do with this device and other devices. Until then, talk to you later. Bye.